Uh, hi, everyone. I think we can start. Um, I hope you all enjoyed DrupalCon already the first two days. Anyone enjoyed it? Everyone met nice people? I really did. I have seen nice meetings, nice meetups, and have met a lot of great people. Um, for today, I have a little presentation about something personal myself. Um, I have Tourette's, and I'm going to present you a little bit more about being in a tech company as a Tourette's-afflicted uh, Drupal developer. Um, to present myself a little bit more, I am Mathieu, but you can call me Mathieu afterwards if that's easier to pronounce because it's a French name. Um, I'm a developer from Belgium, and as you can see, I work for Calibrate, a company in Ghent. Um, I'm a Drupal developer since 2021. Um, I did my internship at another Drupal company, and I really fell in love with uh, the project and the open source community around it, and everyone being involved and being so nice together for each other. Drupal Dev Days 2022 was my first real life event uh, as a Drupal developer, and I did my first Drupal.org commit there. And at Drupal Dev Days, I told for myself, I want to be a speaker one day. And actually, this is my first DrupalCon, and I'm a speaker already. So I think it's nice. Yeah, I think it's nice. Um, and as you can see, I'm diagnosed with Tourette since 2009, but for me, it's really under control. Um, some people maybe have seen me in the uh, alley here, but with twitching with my neck, but nothing more than that. My vocal tics are really under control, so I'm able to present right now. Um, to tick or not to tick is um, a quote I'm uh, proud of because um, it was my blog in high school. Uh, I made a blog about Tourette's because this is not the only time I gave some advice to people. I had a blog where I um, shared my experiences as a Tourette's person, um, giving advice to people and sharing more uh, on that. Um, and is there, is there anyone who knows Tourette already? Because I'm talking about Tourette, but do people know it already? Or Okay, okay, okay. Um, as you can see, Tourette's, it's a, a big iceberg uh, where the ticks are just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, most of the time, it's combined with a lot of other things you can't not always see, um, like ADHD and um, other things, or Tourette and autism and stuff. Um, so Tourette's is a tick disorder. Um, it's a disorder which is chronic, so it can be cured, but it can be under control with medication, which I'm always, uh, also taking. Um, ticks can be vocal or motoric. It can be a wide variety, um, from coughing and sneezing to making animal noises, but even neck twitches or even arm movements, leg movements, jumping around. I did everything in the past, so uh, yeah, it is a, a wide variety of ticks that can happen. Um, and one in a thousand people has Tourette's, so it's not a lot, but I, I met only, I think, in my life, 10 people who has Tourette's already, so it's not a lot. Um, and as I said, it's mostly in combination with ADHD, ADD, and autism, but it can be a lot more, but these are the most common things it can be combined with, or it is combined with. Um, this is actually a joke for myself. Um, if you want to be inclusive, always be inclusive in your forms as well, because one of my things in high school was meowing. I was meowing all the time, just like I was a cat, and yeah, it was a funny one to include, I think, so to make it more of a less of, of, a, sec, uh, con uh, uh, of a dry conversation. Um, now I will go on for some more um, things on the working environment and the workplace. When I applied for my first job, um, I told my boss immediately from the start I had Tourette's. When he called me, I think the first thing I said was, hold on, I want to tell you something, I have Tourette's, don't mind if I make some noises uh, at the phone. And he appreciated it. <laughs> um, also, tell about your concerns. I think this is one of the most important things. Tell um, your manager you're in front of for a solicitation or um, that you have Tourette's and what your concerns are. Um, discuss your expectations. Uh, for me, um, I have an arrangement that when I, my ticks become frequently in the morning, I can go to home at lunch and I work remote in the afternoon. So if you have expectations, always tell them from the start so the people you work with knows what they can do for you and how they can help you. And ask for help. Um, my onboarding process, I ask to 
tell all my coworkers before I, when my onboarding started that I have Tourette syndrome, so no awkward situations would happen because I had one in the past when I was in high school and a teacher walked in, she didn't know about my Tourette and she said there are medications for that. So to avoid so, such an awkward situation, always tell the people beforehand that they know you have Tourette's or another disorder, so awkward situations are uh, not going to happen. Um, you do you is one thing I um, can advise everyone. Um, always be yourself. Everyone is unique. Everyone is a special snowflake. Be yourself. Do your thing. Everyone is great. Even at Drupalcom, everyone is nice. Um, and on the job with Tourette's, for me, I listen a lot to my mu piano music and podcasts because piano music is really calming me. It distresses me. And uh, podcasts, I'm really calm if I hear people talk in my ears. So that helps a lot. Um, jewelry is a thing I would show you, but I didn't find it at home. Um, I have a little biting ring, it's a plastic one, where I can bite on if my vocal tics are uh, frequent. So um, by that they are under control. And make sure your new coworkers are informed. So I told my boss to inform all the existing coworkers, but when someone new joins, I always send them a Slack message from, hey, I'm Maché, um, I have Tourette's. And everyone appreciated it, I sent them the message myself. Um, tell your clients if you have meetings with clients beforehand. Um, I have sometimes phone calls and I send my clients a mail beforehand from I have to read. Don't mind me if I have a tick or if I blink my eyes. Um, and don't forget to take your medications because people with Tourette's can be clumsy in the head sometimes. <laughs> Myself is a great example. Um, and if you forget your medications, your ticks can be worse in the afternoon. So that's a great one to uh, take in mind. Um, and always believe in yourself. I wouldn't have been thinking six months ago I would be standing here today, um, but always believe in yourself and uh, chase your dreams. It's really great. Um, some advice for neurodiverse developers in general, ask help if needed. There's always someone who will help you. Everyone is nice in your company. I don't think they would allow you to work that otherwise. Um, communication is key. Tell everyone about things you are thinking about, um, like I said, the arrangement with going home at lunchtime. Um, so communication is key. Don't take things personal. Sometimes when my tics were frequent, coworkers were putting on their headphones and I thought, oh no, am I disturbing them or am I distracting them? In the first place, I took it sometimes personal, but I let it go and I know they just want to focus. They have their job, they need to focus on their work. So don't take such a things too personal if people put on their headphones because it's normal. And find a coworker you trust. I have someone in the company I go for a walk with sometimes at lunch. I tell him always how I feel about such a things and that's really nice if you have someone who you can trust. And be honest about your feelings. If your coworkers don't know how you're feeling, they can't help you. That's one thing you have to take in mind. I always be open with my boss and my management um, if I have some things I'm struggling with and they always are uh, helping me and try to find a solution together. Um, that's one thing. Um, you can take the initiative to propose something and uh, it will always be nice and appreciated. Um, there is also a neurodiversity channel at Drupal Slack, so if you don't know yet, you can join it. I joined it last week, so uh, feel free if you want to, to join it and uh, discuss more on this topic. And I want to thank you for your attention. It was a little short run, it was my first time. Um, but if you have some questions, you can ask them. Uh, I'm, you can talk to me tomorrow as well, so feel free. Thank you. Uh, any questions? I don't see any uh, popping up in the queue. If you don't have questions, it's also okay. You can talk to me tomorrow if you want to, so it's no problem. <laughs> questions, I think. Okay. Thank you for your attention.